My name is Peter Kanyagia. I'm an expert in earthworm farming or vermiculture. And here is my story. Vermiculture is a system of uh, using earthworms to compost waste. There are very many types of earthworms yeah, and almost every half farm has or every soil has earthworms but there are different types of earthworms depending on how they compost waste. The best earthworm to compost waste is called uh, redworms or in uh, Scientific name is called Athenia fetida. The reason why this redworm has been chosen for composting is that one, it eats a lot of waste and in a day it can eat its own weight. Which means if you have a lot of these earthworms, they can make compost almost instantly. Secondly, the redworms multiply very quickly because an adult earthworm lay an egg every, every month and this egg takes a, a month to hatch and when it hatches it produces about three to five earthworms so you can see the multiplication rate for earthworms and when you multiply these earthworms you'll be able to compost a lot of waste. There is a difference between vermiculture Vermiculture actually is breeding and multiplying the worms. Vermicomposting is now using the earthworms to compost. So when you start earthworm farming, you first of all multiply the earthworms to a level where they should be able to work for you to start composting. The earthworms urine mix the vermi liquid. Now, these two uh, products have all the nutrients to grow a plant and that's why it is very good to use these two products in growing your products. When I talk about earthworm farming, I also talk about organic farming because they go together. You cannot have organic farming without earthworms. So the two of them go together. And uh, the farming methods all over the ones are changing and the people are, are changing from non-organic farming which has not been very good to organic farming, which means a lot of people and a lot of farmers are taking this challenge to start organic farming. There is a, a lot of potential in earthworm farming for, to sell this earthworm to farmers uh, who are doing organic farming. Now, earthworms can help the, the humanity in very many ways. One way is that Earthworms eat waste. What we are actually throwing away, like kitchen waste, like uh, um, manure, like uh, weeds from the farm, that ones we throw away, we feed the earthworms. We also have municipal waste. You go to a market and you find that there is a lot of organic waste. And this organic waste actually can be used, uh, they can be converted to compost by using earthworms we can reduce our, uh, our environmental pollution by composting this waste, which would otherwise be a, a pollution to our environment. The reason I started earthworm farming was because I do organic farming. And uh, for me to do organic farming, I, I need organic compost. I went to train at uh, Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, JUCAT, and that's also where I bought my first uh, earthworms, which I still have them even now. That's uh, more than 10 years ago. So I was able to start a small venture and uh, slowly and slowly I grew, it, I grew my production to a level where I could actually uh, sell, have enough for myself and also have extra for sale to other people or to other farmers. Going from uh, a small scale farmer, a vermiculture farmer to a large scale vermiculture was very important for me because I found a lot of farmers have been looking for ways of making compost but they were not able to get 
or to, pro or to get a solution to their problem. Now, every farmer has a lot of waste. Starting from the kitchen, uh, kitchen waste, uh, going to any waste in a, in, in a farm, which can be composted to grow organic food. So I exploited that uh, need for farmers to expand and uh, to expand my vermiculture so that I'm able to supply these farmers and uh, give them a solution to their problems. It was not very easy, but um, we have tried or I have tried very much in the social media to talk about organic farming and how farmers can change their their way of farming so that they can grow organic crops which are actually are far much uh, they fetch better prices in the market and now when they saw that uh, one can actually benefit from uh, vermiculture I was able to convince them to start composting their waste and uh, expanding their organic farming. For us to be able to uh, convince the farmers that organic farming is far much better that uh, non-organic farming, we had to start training them here in our farm, where farmers come here for training. Not only farmers, we have students from universities who are doing agriculture subjects, and they come here as part of their fieldwork to see the practical side of vermiculture and how to apply it from their th theories. Most people have uh, a phobia of touching worms and uh, it's natural and uh, when I started very, very few people could actually come to see or even touch the worms in my farm but gradually people have realized that uh, these worms can change their farming way and if you learn to handle them if you learn to use them they can be of much benefit. So slowly by slowly, people have, uh, we have been able to convince people to take up this farming by, the, by one thing, by demonstrating how the other ones are kept, how these products are used, and how one can actually be able to sell these other ones and benefit. For somebody who wants to start, first of all, you have to decide at what level you want to start. Now, uh, the, uh, the lowest level is where you can buy one kilo of earthworms for 2,500, get a 20 jerry can worth uh, 50 shillings, you put your waste there, kitchen waste, and uh, then you have one kg of worms and uh, you have started a small composting system that will serve you for, small, for a very small kitchen garden and you'll be able to get vermicompost uh, and vermiliquid from there. That should cost you not less than uh, uh, 3,000 shillings to start. And most people can afford. But now, um, you might have a bigger kitchen garden and you want more vermiliquid and uh, more, more vermicompost. That's why you can buy these blue plastic drums Depending on how your needs, you can buy one, two, three, four, five, and make a structure to hold these drums. Uh, this drum, I have a drum cost about uh, 1,000. So with 1,000 shillings, uh, you need at least two to five kgs to start on uh, have a drum. Depending on how quick you want to compost the waste, uh, it can take you three months to start composting the waste if you start with 5 kg. It will take you longer if you start with less than 5 kg. So that is the second level. The third level is a commercial composting where you, 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 you have uh, um, mini drums like from 8 or you have concrete beds. You can have concrete beds, you can also have uh, wooden beds where you can have uh, them made in such a way that you'll be able to collect the vermiliquid 
and then you can also stack them depending on how on the resources you have. There is a potential for young people, for the youth, to collect the organic waste and use it to, uh, to empower themselves by selling compost and also selling earthworms. The market for earthworms is unlimited. At the moment, we are supplying local market. We have also been able to export earthworms to very many countries in Africa. We have exported to Uganda, we have exported to Tanzania, to Zanzibar, to Somali, uh, to West Africa, we have exported to Sierra Leone. To export uh, almost anything, you need an export license. And it is the same for, for earthworms. And for you to be able to get an export license, you have to show the government where you are exporting. Now, the customer say he's in Uganda, want to import earthworms from Kenya, has to get a license from his government or a permit from his government to import these worms or red worms. So the customer in Uganda, you get a permit from the government or an import license, send me a copy, and with that copy, I go to uh, the Minister of uh, Agriculture, which actually is involved in, uh, uh, in earthworms, and get an export, uh, an export license, which will enable me now to export these earthworms to that country. Now, there are a lot of requirements for you to export uh, these earthworms because, they, first of all, they have to be healthy. The, you have to get a certification from a different organizations like CAFIS, also from the Ministry of Livestock. So all this license will be required so that you can be able to export. So there is a potential for growth in this industry. That was my story as a vermiculture expert. What is your farming story? Can you share it with us? And there you have it. Peter also wants to know your story. Go ahead and share it with us. Now, some call it the desert ship. Others say it's a horse designed by a committee where everybody's idea on how it should look like was put in place. Next week, we meet Piers, a camo expert and producer, whom with his partners have a collective herd of over 150 camels. As you look out for that story, keep sharing and also subscribe.